I found the best 6'6 guard build in NBA 2K24. With this build, you can do it all. You can shoot and knock down shots from half court. You can consistently knock down yellow contested shots over your defender. You get all the best dribble moves in the game, which allows you to easily get open for wide open shots. You can quite literally break ankles off ball and get easy wide open catch and shoot shots. And not only that, but you also get elite contact dunks, which is gonna allow you to dominate in the five out and on the fast break. You're gonna be able to consistently dunk on any defender with with a massive green window. So not only are you unstoppable on offense, but you also have defense. You're gonna be able to get consistent steals in the lane and on ball plugs. In my opinion, this is by far the best 6'6 guard build in the game. And I also have a second version of this build at the end. So make sure you compare both builds and then just pick the one that works best for you. If you find this video helpful, make sure to hit that sub button, hit that noti bell so you don't miss a thing. And make sure to hit that like button if you think this is a W build. Build. All right, so starting off, you guys are going to want to go 6'6". Six, six. I went 200 pounds, and then you're going to want to go with a 6'8 wingspan. Now, the weight really doesn't matter. I just went 200 pounds because I'm kind of over being thick. Uh, I think everyone's got like a thick build, so I wanted to switch it up for this one and go 200 pounds. Now, I went shooting guard because on this build, I'm mainly playing hash. Now, of course, you could also run this at point guard and be pretty much unstoppable in any mode. Now, starting off with the physicals, we go with an 86 speed. And the main reason why we go with an 86 speed is because this is going to allow us to be fast off the ball. We need to be fast on our defensive rotation since we're gonna be playing up top a lot and we're gonna be guarding ball a lot. Now also it's gonna make us really fast on the break and it's gonna help us get open off the ball when we're trying to juke out our, our defenders and we're trying to dex off ball. Acceleration go with 73. We're gonna need that to get some playmaking badges. And then your vertical go 82. That's gonna be for some contact dunk packages. Now with the stamina, I with 93 for your driving dunk we're gonna put this all the way up to a 94 that's right guys we're going with a 94 on the first version of this build that's because i just personally like the elite contact dunks i feel like you get more contact dunks when you have the elite contact dunks i know some people say that you only need an 89 and you still get the same amount of contact dunks but i feel like that's not true i've played a lot of nba 2k24 with an 89 driving dunk and with a 94 and me personally i think that the 94 driving dunk is definitely worth it now the next attribute we go with a 45 stand dunk and that's to unlock these two stand dunk packages that way when we cut off ball we're going to be able to get stand dunk so that's very important make sure you go with a 45 stand dunk now getting into the finishing gameplay you guys are going to see right here you're going to be the king of the fast break with this 94 driving dunk i'm telling you right now guys you are going to get more consistent contact dunk animations when you go with the 94 driving dunk you guys are going to get more contact dunks because of that elite contact dunk package. And you guys are going to notice I'm consistently getting those elite contact dunks. So I'm telling you, make sure you go with the 94 driving dunk if you really wanna get consistent contact dunks. Now on top of that, why else do we go 94 driving dunk? We go with 94 driving dunk because we get massive green windows on any defender. If it's a lockdown defender or a 7-3 big man. We are going to get a massive green window every time we go up with a meter dunk as long as they are to our side. You guys are going to notice whenever I go up for these contact dunks, the defender is to my side and that's going to give me a massive green window every single time. Now on top of that, we also get Hall of Fame Slithery at a 94 driving dunk, which is an extremely important badge. It's actually really underrated and it's one of the best driving badges in the game. So that's why we go with a 94 driving dunk. I mean, you guys can see right here, I'm just consistently getting contact dunks. It does not matter who's next to me, they are getting dunked on, whether it's in the Pro-Am or the Reg. And that's why this is so important, guys, because literally it doesn't matter who's guarding you. If they are to your side, you're gonna get a contact dunk. You're gonna dominate the fast break and you're gonna be able to get those stand dunks consistently when you're cutting off ball. So that's why we go with the 94 driving dunk. It's just going to open up so much more opportunities for you. It's literally going to allow you to be unstoppable. So that's why we went with these ratings. Now onto the shooting. As you guys are gonna see right here, we're gonna max out the three point shot, of course, with a 92 three ball. This is gonna give us that silver agent three, gold blinders, gold dead eye, silver limitless, gold catch and shoot, gold corner, 
gold green machine and we're going to get that gold guard up and gold open looks all these badges are extremely important because they all stack on top of each other especially if you're playing off ball now the next rating we go with a 78 mid-range shot a lot of people tell me that a 78 mid-range makes a big difference over a 77 so i went with a 78 mid-range now for the free throw we're not able to max it out at a 99 but we're able to get an 85 so we're going to be able to knock down free throws consistently now getting into the shooting gameplay as you guys can see right here I'm taking shots from half court with the heat check. I'm shooting over defenders and I'm able to knock down shots consistently. I'm telling you guys right now, this 92 three ball is literally all you need in this game when you're on a 6-6, six, six, especially if you have my jump shot. Make sure you guys check out my most recent jump shot video. I go over the exact jump shot that I use as well as multiple other good jump shots. So definitely make sure you check it out. But like I was saying, you're gonna be able to knock down consistent contested shots. You guys can rewind it and look at those past few clips and even the clips on your screen right now. I'm consistently shooting over defenders, knocking down 30 plus percent covered threes. I'm telling you right now, you're going to be able to knock down contested shots like it's nothing with the T-Mac base, with my jump shot releases, and with this build. I'm telling you guys right now, it's going to be so easy to shoot on this build. I'm shooting 70% from three almost on this build consistently. So I'm telling you guys right now, you got to make sure that not only do you make this build, but you're using my jump shot because you're going to be able to consistently knock down shots every single time. All I do is I just look for the ball to come to my head and I release it every single time. I don't care who's in front of me. I'm just looking for the same cue. I'm looking at my arms when that ball comes to my head. I'm letting it go and I'm on the push release timing. Now, as you guys can see off ball, you're going to be a menace off ball. You're going to be able to get open consistently because you're going to have that 86 speed off the ball. You're going to be able to knock down fadeaway threes, especially with takeover. I'm telling you, 92 is literally all you need. That's all you need for a three point shot. And then with that 78 midi, of course, in the half court on the fast break, you're going to be able to knock down those mid-range fades consistently. Now, you can see right here off ball, I'm hitting my defenders with mean dexes with that silver spot finder. And with the 86 speed paired with it, you're going to be able to easily get open off the ball. That's why we go with the ratings that we go with, because we want to make sure that we're able to consistently get open off the ball and we want to make sure that we can shoot over our defenders consistently and knock down these contested shots. We also want to make sure that we can cherry pick on the break and easily get open. You guys can see how fast I am off the ball with the spot finder. They literally can't guard me off the ball. I'm quite literally breaking ankles with the routes that I'm running. Like I feel like I'm a wide receiver out there. <laughs> so I, like you guys know me, I normally don't play off ball, but I've been loving playing off ball with this build because of the spot finder badge that they added in the game this year. I'm just able to juke around decks with the spot finder, spam the sprint button, fake like I'm cutting, cut back out to the three point line and get wide open shots. You guys can see that mean V cut right there. Like I'm telling you, like it's too fun dexing off ball with this build. The defenders have no idea what I'm doing because I have the 45 stand dunk, the 94 dunk. You got to respect my cut, but then I'll hit you with a dex and I'll get wide open from three. And that's another reason why this build is so OP. All right, now on to the playmaking. So on the first version of this build, we're going with a 60 pass accuracy. Now I've played a ton of 2K24 and honestly, guys, as long as you're not running the point guard in 5v5, a 60 pass accuracy is all you need for everything else, whether it's 2v2, 3v3, of course, 1v1, and 5v5 playing off ball. A 60 pass accuracy is all you need. It's very viable. I throw no turnovers with it, and my teammates catch the ball perfectly fine. So on the first version of this build, we go with a 60. Now for the ball handle, we go 87. That's so we get silver killer combos. We get the Kemba Walker escape move, which is really important. And that way we also get silver speed booster, silver unpluckable, and gold ankle breaker. And we also get the silver blow by. So that's why we go with the 87. All you need is that silver unpluckable after all the nerfs they did the steals. I literally never get the ball plucked. All you need is that silver unpluckable. And then for the speed with ball, go 75. So you get the silver hyperdrive speed booster and blow by. Now, as you guys can see into some playmaking gameplay, I'm going to be showing you guys 
how viable this build is dribbling. You guys can see how fast that silver triple strike is, and I'm able to easily get open. The speed boosts are fast, especially out of the hesitation, and you guys can see right here, when you hit that Jamal Murray behind the back on the 6'6", six, six, you guys already know it's overpowered. I mean, that's the main move I use to get open, especially behind the screen. All you have to do is pair the Jamal Murray with the Kemba Walker, and you are going to be getting open consistently. And then if you know how to L2 cancel, even better. You're going to be able to dominate in the ISO, in the five out, and in the pick and roll. I mean, you guys can see, I have my point guard setting screens for me and I'm able to easily get open. I'm telling you, that's literally all you need. All you need is the 87 ball handle and then pair it with these dribble moves and you are gonna be getting open consistently. I'm put all my animations at the end of this video. So if you guys want all my dribble moves and my SIGs, I'm literally giving them to you in this video. Now you guys can see that silver killer combos, that's allowing me to dribble quickly. Without the silver killer combos, it takes a lot more time to chain your moves together. When you're trying to do a John Wall into a Jamal Murray, or when you're trying to do a Kemba into a Jamal Murray, you're gonna be able to chain these moves so much faster with that silver over killer combos. All right, now onto the final part of the build, the defense. Now on this first version of the build, we go with an 82 perimeter defense. You gotta at least have silver challenger in this game. If you don't at least have silver challenger, anyone is gonna be able to shoot over you who knows how to shoot. So you need silver challenger at least. That's why we go with an 82 perimeter. And then with the steel, we go with an 89 steel. The reason why is because we want that gold interceptor. You need at least gold interceptor in this game if you wanna get consistent steals in the lanes. Silver glove is really all you need for consistent on-ball plucks. However, of course, gold glove is a little bit better, but you can definitely get away with silver glove. Now, the gold interceptor is the most important. That's why we go with the 89 steel because you need that gold interceptor. That's gonna allow you to catch more lane steals. It's gonna allow you to have a wider range of balls that you can pick off. So definitely make sure you go with the 89 steel. Now, you guys are gonna be able to see in this defensive gameplay, we have no issue getting the lane steals and we have no issue getting on ball steals. We're getting consistent three to five steals every Every single game so definitely make sure you go with these defensive ratings having at least silver glove is going to open up so many opportunities for you. you guys can see i'm able to get blitz steals and then i'm able to just easily dunk it on the break with my 94 contact dunk i'm telling you guys right now you're gonna be able to get these consistent lane steals on ball steals i would say an 89 steal is the bare minimum you need but you can also be elite with the 89 steal so that's why we went with the 89 steal on this build and then on top of that being able to get elite contact dunks a 92 three ball with an 87 ball handle and a 75 speed with ball i don't think that there's a better well-rounded build in this game and that is why i truly think that this is the best 6-6 guard build in the game for pretty much every single mode and scenario now let's show you the second version of this build so this is the second variation of it and obviously the key differences here is we have more defense and less dunking and more pass accuracy so you guys can see right here we go with a 50 strength and a 78 vert that way we get the basic contact dunk packages. We won't get elite contact dunks, but we get the basic contact dunk packages. So as you guys can see right here with an 89 driving dunk and a 78 vert, we're able to get pro contact dunks off two and pro contact dunks off one. Now, a lot of people claim that you get the same amount of contact dunks with an 89 driving dunk and a 78 vert. I personally disagree. I've played this game a lot with both, but I will say you do get a lot of contact dunks with the 89. So if you're willing to make that sacrifice, you're still gonna be dominant with an 89 driving dunk. Now, we go with a 50 strength to get silver clamps. Now, the reason why we want silver clamps is because we go with an 87 perimeter defense. So not only are we gonna have silver clamps, but we're gonna have gold challenger. So we're gonna be able to lock up on ball and then off ball when we're closing out on shooters, we're gonna be able to get consistent contests and make them miss consistently with that gold challenger. This is a great hash build for comp pro-am. The other build is great for comp pro-am too, but the, the gold challenger is going to allow you to contest elite shooters more consistently and make them miss more consistently. Now, as you guys can see for the steel, we go with the 91 steel. That's going to give us the gold right stick ripper and the gold glove. Obviously, gold glove and gold right stick ripper are better than silver, but 
I personally think that there's not a big difference between silver and gold. That's why on the main version of this build, I went with an 89. Now, as you guys can see, we went with a 70 pass accuracy. We go with that 70 pass accuracy, so that way we can get the ball to our teammates slightly faster, and so there's a little bit lower of a chance of them bobbling the ball or getting a bad catch animation. So that's why we go with a 70 pass accuracy. And unless you're running point guard in a 5v5 comp setting, you really do not need any higher than a 70 pass accuracy. So that was the second version of the build. Now let's move on to the animations. These are the animations that I'm using on the main version of the build as you guys could see we're rocking that Steph Curry free throw and then I would say the other very important animation you guys need to make sure you have is you're going to want to make sure you have that pro to dribble pull up now for the dribble moves make sure you copy these down and for the dunks here's what I'm rocking with as you guys can see we don't have any two foot moving dunks except for the contact dunks so of course, because we have that 94 driving dunk, we got the pro contact dunks off too, and we have the elite contact dunks off too, which you get at that 94 driving dunk with the 82 vert. Now for your one foot moving dunks, make sure you guys copy down the ones that I have because these one foot moving dunks are gonna give you a very low chance of getting blocked. That's what I look for in my one foot moving dunks. I'm looking for dunks that not only are quick and safe, but also have a very low chance of getting blocked. So make sure you guys put on these one foot moving dunks that you see here. And then of course, for the standing dunks, we went with that 45, so we get two standing dunk packages. These two stand dunk packages are gonna allow you to get consistent stand dunks, especially on off ball cuts. And then of course, for your signature dunks, you're gonna wanna equip LeBron James and Russell Westbrook. If this video was helpful, make sure to drop a like and I'll see you in the next one.